Yeah. yeah. He's no retired guy. Hey guys, Tarko Cycling FPV. I'm working on a quad right now, uh, and I am going to show you guys how to do a the wiring on it. Bear with me a second here. Uh, so this is for the Fury B, the Dinosaur Q95. So I have a customer that's taken this one and um, I, I've already opened it up, but I'm gonna show you from here what you need to do. So to get to where I'm at right now, what I did was I removed the two spacers on the bottom that look like this. They go underneath here and, and that's what holds the top piece that slides through the bottom. So once you remove those and you lift this up, you're gonna basically, and this is to install the receiver. You need me? The O-rings, they used to be here. Did you move them? This, the bag? Yeah, the big bag of O-rings. The, the clear ones uh -huh. was right here somewhere. Right here. Thanks. Yep, you're welcome. Oh, okay. Wait, sorry, where did you say the tank was? You said you had one over here. Yeah, wait, wait is, is uh -huh. that the plate? Yeah. Just that plate. You, you need the frame too? That's not the frame. That's the, you just asked for the top plate. Sorry, I need all of it in the cutting room. Yeah, but the top plate might still be that one. Okay. If not, it's in there. It just needs to be, it may just need to be wiped down. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna install a FreeSky M Plus receiver. And so, oops, let me put that down. So what we're gonna be focused on, oh, let me do this, sorry guys, I just realized you didn't see that. XM so, or XM Plus? Uh, XM, smaller one, the fit here, is XM, that right? Yeah, yeah that'll work. Um, do you want the XM Plus or the XM? No. I would take the smaller one for this one if that's okay that's with you, fine. it doesn't matter. That's fine. Um, are you sure? Yes, sir. You sure? Yes, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> this is the customer right here, Larry. No, okay, that's... so we're going to put these right here. So the way this is going to work, the diagram is going to be, um, this is your ground. This is, here, I'll zoom in here. Let me show you guys. Okay, so this is your ground. This is your 5 volt. And this is your S plus. Okay, these outside ones on the rail here. So that's what we're gonna attach to. So I'm gonna do that real quickly and get this bound so this gentleman can fly it. So here we go. Did you get what you need, babe? Yeah, no, I'm just looking for the side cam outs, which I think- They're here, there's a bag right here. Yeah, awesome. And it has to be the kind with the holes that are drilled individually. So you'll see the nine separate holes. Ah, okay. Because there are some where they're meshed together. I was trying to see which one I liked and I like them to be individual. That make sense? Yes, sir, thank you. Okie dokie. All right, so we're gonna strip these wires real quickly. Um, <laughs> don't be fooled, it's just me. <laughs> I wish I could do a hockey on Believe me, stuff. believe me, it's good. Yeah, she's awesome. No, she's, she's going to work hard. Okay, so we're going to send these up. And I have my helping hands right here, so I'm gonna use that. All right, once these are tinned up, that'll be what we put on the quad here, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep the frame, or prep the board here, by just using my flux pin and getting ready to flux those three holes that I showed you. So here we go. Uh, of the summer. Here it is. Okay, so we're going to do one is here, two is here, and three is there. Okay, and then we'll take the tweezers. There we go. That's so funny, like Slam bam, thank you, man. Like, that's, I love gotta it. Gotta knock it out, man. I love it. Okay, so I'm going to put some silicone on here just to make sure that these solder points are protected. So, and guys, if you need silicone, you can get that on our website. It's great when you know what you're doing. Yeah. I love it. All the material that I use here, every tool we use, we sell, and you can find it all under the description of the video. There's a link that says to my workbench tools. Now you gotta find that, where did I put that needle? No, here. Uh, and one of those is gonna be the silicone. Yeah, now, you okay? Yeah, I completely forgot to go get little bangs, they're like, hey, where are you? Oh, okay. Um, so the silicone comes in a tube that looks like this, guys. Okay, you see that, Larry? It comes like that. 
Um, okay. But you have to get your own syringe. You have to find these, okay? Um, we don't carry the syringes, but we do carry the tips that you... Okay, babe, drive safe. All right, so now That's let's... That's okay, I'll find another way to do it. It's the messiest thing. If you don't have the syringe, so I'm seriously, you can get a syringe anywhere online. I, I'll probably start carrying them. It was hard enough just to get these flat tip needles, but those, I have now a couple thousand of them. Um, but yeah, you get the syringe because if you try to put it out of that tube, it's too much. It comes out like, oh, and I then see. it gets okay. stuck to everything and it can't get it off. Okay. It sucks. Well, that may take a little practice. Yeah. So the, okay. the syringe That's is okay. the best method. If you got the silicone, I'll bet you I yeah. can get some on. I'll bet I can find a way to Amazon, get it. Amazon, everybody has the syringe. You can get the syringe. Okay. Syringes aren't that hard. Um, I just, I have a prescription for medicine. So, so after I use okay. my medicine, I just clean my syringe out gotcha. and I use it here. Gotcha. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can get the syringes online. Uh, and the needle tips, we have them. Um, they're, people charge a lot for those for some reason. They're really rough. I'm pretty up. good at getting things out of, per, I'm pretty soft at getting things out of the package. But you never know, I might get a big surprise. It's not that, what it is is the silicone is thick. And uh -huh. so then it dries. If you use the 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 the, the, the container, oh. it starts drying. So then you have to cut a bigger hole and a bigger hole because it doesn't have a cap that fits it. So the next thing you know, you're squishing out a ton of it. So gotcha. I just fill it like that, and then and then what I do so you is I cut a hole and then I make heat shrink to cover it, right? And I put a needle inside there. So that usually keeps it good. Got it. But to get it that size, it's too much to come out on a board. Gotcha. It just come out at a hundred. Okay. Too much of it. All right, so let's go ahead. We're going to tin this, solder these. So that means we'll have a silicone day. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly it. And I'm going to tell you something, man. When you get it on you, when you get it on your hands yeah. or on your equipment, like it doesn't come off of my solder mat. It's stuck on here for good. Okay. It seems to be. So that's that's interesting. I thought I heard somebody knocking. It's good. No, you're good. It's good. It's good. All right, so we've got this tinned up, and now we're just going to get the uh, uh, XM. Boy, that flux pin really does work. I it's think. night and day. I won't do yeah. a solder without it now. Yeah. It's huge. Okay, so there goes that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solder these to that. And I'm going to just put this right there. With those landing gear, I'm going to be able to fly in places I never expected. Well, just remember those landing gear are plastic and they will break off. Oh, this is great. There's I'll be our... able to land on cars. <laughs> we're not we're not having this conversation, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're not having this conversation. I have to I have to I have to publish this video and I'm not going down as the guy that told Larry to land on cars. Well, Yesterday, um, my son's girlfriend who was here. Her son is having a baby, like he found out that his, him and his lady are pregnant. And so they asked us if we would do the gender reveal yesterday using a drone and chalk, like powder colored chalk. And the wind was so bad. And I used a Phantom, a DJI. It took off and went about 15 feet backwards and almost went into the woods. And I'm like, it was the most dangerous flight I've ever done. And I was like, that's it, I've done it. We survived, I'm never doing it again. How many quads have I lost in a wind gust? Oh my God. I can't even remember. It's so bad. And I have no clue where they're at. Yeah, it's, it's so bad. I mean, the wind is, it was so brutal. I'm like, forget it. If I could have backed out, I would have backed out. So what I told them was we had to change what we were doing because I needed to be able to crash it. Like I needed to cut the motors and crash it if the wind was gonna carry, and I didn't need to get near the people. So we had to re, you know, get everybody to stand a different way and then I thought I was gonna to have to cut it, but man, we were lucky by, I think we missed crashing by a foot. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So, not doing it again. It's, it's too nerve, it's like, it's too nerve wracking. A constant wind I can almost deal with, but when the gust hits it's you. It's the gust, yeah. Over. Yeah, because it was calm and then boom, and it was like yeah. a heavy gust. All right, so we're gonna heat shrink this now. That's okay. a little receiver. Yep, okay. it's very tiny. Little guy. Yep. So that's heat shrunk now. And then, um, before we close everything back up, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this back in and we're gonna bind to your radio. Okay. And we are going to find a spot to mount this receiver. So I'm gonna, I think we're able to just put this back in here first. Let's do that. Sadly, my stats are, I'll lose one quad a month, guaranteed. 
and I'll have a three repairs. That's interesting stats. Is that pretty normal? I mean, if it was me, I broke one a day. I mean, I, I'm terrible. <laughs> I have no patience for flying, so I'm like, I'm all or nothing. I don't believe that for 10 <laughs> I'm seconds. I'm all or nothing. I'm I've telling seen, you. I've seen you fly. Oh, God, I'm terrible. I'm terrible I, at flying. I don't, you, you put some quads out there faster than I could even catch up with. Yeah, well, I've also broken quads faster than most people can. I mean, like, I think I hold the record for breaking them faster than most, too. But if I didn't have the shop, I definitely wouldn't fly like that. But to me, it's like, oh, well, I got to see if the stuff I make is strong. So I might as well crash it and have fun. Okay, so we've got the piece back on here. Now I'm going to bolt this back first before we do anything else. So let's screw this back in. What's his brother like? The, um, what's it, the brother's name? I, I don't know. Which the, brother? The, the furry bee. Uh, it's got, you've got another one on your internet? I do. I don't remember the name of it. Hmm. Okay. I'll check. Okay. I've got it pulled. I've got all the R. Charlottes pulled up. So here's the deal with R. Charlottes, right? Um, we got a deal on all of these because they were no longer going to be making drone products. Well, that's an old drone. Yeah. yeah. And so we picked them up. We picked up everything they had left in stock. Oh, I and, got you. And, yeah. uh, and the problem is, is I like the drone. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I see a lot of similarities between this and the HGLRCs that were out at the same time. I, 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 there's, there's probably more to that story. Like one, I think, our Charlotte's was manufacturing. So they were manufacturing and rebranding with other people's names. Some of what they've done looks so like it's HGLRC. It has to be. Well, this is supposed to be similar to the Eosheen. What is it? Uh, Eosheen doesn't even make their own. So there's a good chance that yeah. our, Charlotte, our Charlotte's made theirs. Yeah. You know, because it's kind of like the Eosheen TX16S by Radio Masters. It's, it's got Eosheen's name on it, but it's, a, it's, yeah. it's um, Radio Masters make. I can't remember the, the Eosheen. It's not the Tyrol. I can't remember. Oh, but this is when they look on the videos and BRC compares this to one of the issues. Yeah. It's funny because I don't, you guys, all you guys that shop online know more about the brands, the names that are out there than I do. I'm like, look, I know the components. I don't know the names of the quads. So somebody will call me like, hey, this. And I'm like, never saw it. But I know no. I know the boards. I just don't know all the drums. When drugs. I see a quad that looks interesting to me, has something I might want to try, I go look on YouTube to see who's tested it. Right. And uh, there's a couple of guys that really do a good test. Yep. Um, Andy RC, Nick Burns isn't bad, but he spends most of his time flying fast indoors. Well, I can go on and on. Right, right. I do like Andy. I'll I will tell you, I do like Andy RC. Yeah. I haven't seen anything he's done that I'm like, what is that? So yeah, I do. I do like what he does for his review. I'll agree with you there for sure. But that's where I'll probably stop right there and say that one I agree with you on. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of people that like to do reviews and then they have their affiliate link somewhere embedded in there. And yeah. I'm like. Ah. Some of them just yap on and yap on and yep. tell you about nothing. Yep, 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 yep. And I'm not going to mention. Yeah, we won't. We don't have to mention names. Yeah. We're good. We're good. You and me, we understand. Okay. Um, so before I put this down permanently, let's go ahead and get your. I'm going to go. Uh, yeah, let's get your um, stuff ready. Okay, I have a furry bee already set up. Model. And okay. let's see. Now I'm keeping props on. Okay. So don't do anything crazy. But I'll I keep my to to I'll keep my hand above it here. And go down. Down to furry B. Okay. And then I need to page. I need to enter. Select model. Okay. I need to page over. So guys, let me. I'm gonna tell the guys that are watching this video what I'm doing now is basically getting the beta flight set up. So I don't know what port this is supposed to be on. So I'm gonna figure it out this way. We're gonna set zero T. 
and we're going to set it to S bus. We're going to click save and reboot. And so you guys know what I did on here is I connected, I started with port UART1 for S bus. So we're going to see if that's it. We'll take it from there. Okay, let me know when you're ready to bind. Just a second here. Okay. I'm going to Furry B, okay. Up. Whenever, okay. I, you ready? No, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm stopping this beeping. It's gonna drive me crazy. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that did it there. Okay, so um, I am going to get this bind button here. So let's do this. Let's pull this up. Let me unplug the USB from the computer, which is going to be easier. Okay. You ready? Yep. It's laboratory on. Yep. There it goes. Okay. Excellent. We're good? Yep. Okay, return. Okay. Now let's get ready to set this up. Uh, okay, and we need to disconnect. What we're gonna do is let's go here. Let's connect. Uh, let's take our, try to change the VTX here. What in the hell is that page? Oh, okay, and look, you've already moved your thing. Hold on, hold on. Turn it back to me. Turn it back to me. Okay, hold your page button. Press your page button and hold it down for a second. Page right or left? Oh, no, go page left. Just one time. Page Quick. left. Oh, page left. Oh, no telemetry screens. Right. That went to no telemetry screens. So it's page right. Maybe Excuse it's me. page right. Yep. Okay. So let's get this going. Come on, page right. Okay. okay. So we don't Return. see it's not it's not going to be port one. There we go. So right. let's go to ports and let's go to UR two and see if that works. Okay, let's connect. Receiver. I don't see it on UR2. Okay, so let's try UR3. Save and reboot. Should I keep that on or It's good, yeah, keep it on. Okay. Connect. Receiver. There it is, it's UR3. Okay. All right, so um, let's go ahead and set up your arming stuff. So put it in arming, flip your okay. arm switch. This should be armed. Okay. And then let's set up your angle. Angle would be here. This would be horizon. I think it's aux two. This would be acro. Angle, horizon, air motor or acro. Okay, let me save that. Okay. And then um, over at, no, we're no flip over after crash on this guy, is there? You could, yeah, you could. Okay. Um, and I'm also going to put your buzzer, so Good. Um, your hold on, where is this here? No, that doesn't have it on this board. Sorry, not no the buzzer. flip over. Okay. No, no, the buzzer should, but not the flip over. So let me find okay. your beeper. Okay, your beeper. Go ahead and flip your beeper. That should be hopefully a beep. Okay, turn it off. Turn it off. And turn it on. Oh. So middle position is on? Yeah, I'm gonna put middle position, yeah. Okay, all right, and then, okay. 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 And I think that is. We're pretty well set. Can you put flight mode in the OSD? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me, um, let me see something here because I just realized that I didn't update the um, firmware on the flight controller. So let me just see where we're at anyway. Okay. 
Omnibus 3.2. I just downloaded Omnibus for 4.0.1. So let me see if I can update that real quick. Uh, I think it was 4.1.6. So, so it's got old firmware on it. Yeah, but the Omnibus F3 firmware isn't even offered anymore. So it stopped and I down, I happened to do one this weekend. Um, one of the ones I was doing here and I was able to find 4.06. I'm gonna put you on 3. Point, if 3.5.7 will load, I'm gonna do that one. Um, hopefully, as there it goes. As long as it flies, I don't care. I can always adjust the rates. Yeah, no, it, it's it's gonna fly. Okay. Shut up. That's the beeper? That's good, I ought to be able to find that. Good mm -hmm. Lord, that's good. Good deal. It's got a decent light on it. I will be a flight out at night. Yeah. No, I'm not saying no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> you see, you get me to say thing. I'm not agreeing with you. I don't think it's a good idea to fly at night, but if you want to fly at night, you can fly at night. Well, yeah, I learned the hard way about flying at night. Yeah. I'm having a hard time updating this thing. Come on, let me try the older beta flight. Let me see if that'll work. That's when I get them too high and the wind blows them away. There it goes. Yeah. Yeah. You could turn your radio off for now. Okay. Save the battery. Okay. Just hopefully we have enough for today. I you can will. always return it. You will. Okay. Good. Okay. So we're able to use this off of the old beta flight, which is fine. So let me connect. Let's wait for this thing to reset itself. All right, here we go. The ports. Port three is S bus safe reboot. I think this has. Or so it should have smart audio, which is going to be. Hmm. Let me see. Let me check to see if I can see that smart audio. Configuration. Okay. We'll do air. Oh no, air one right here. We'll put telemetry on OSD, uh, and we will say save and reboot. Okay. Connect. Receiver will be serial S bus. Save and reboot. Okay. Connect. Okay, go ahead and power it up now.
think. Okay, so go ahead and flip your arm switch. Okay, flip your angle to horizon. Um, You're in angle right now. I'm in angle now, now. Yeah, now horizon. Horizon. Okay, and then acro. Perfect, and then flip your beeper. Perfect, okay. Yep. All right, so that's, that's great. Good. So let me click save. Let me go to motors. Okay, one shot, one, two, five. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna turn this on. Where's Ace the dog? Oh, he, he's at his uh, owner's house. Shucks, I've miss petting that guy. I know, he's cool, right? Yeah, I like him. Yeah, we all like him. He, uh, he's, he's out and about right now. Okay. All right. To save my digits, I'm going to take these off now. Turn off the radio or keep Yeah, going? you can turn it off the radio. Okay. I'm going to try to disconnect the VTX the VTX because it's getting hot. Mm. So I'm gonna see if I can disconnect it just because yeah, it's it's cooking over here. Mm. I want to get just one of the wires out without shorting this whole thing. So let me see if I can just take this wire right here. And that did it. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead. Now all I'm doing is I'm updating the firmware on the ESC. Okay. This thing has a stack in there. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, this is a real quad. Yeah. Okay. Tiny, but real. Yes. That's okay. Yes. Small doesn't bother me one bit. I understand. All right, let's do this. Okay. Yes.
And yes, they're a little twitchy. They can be, yes. Yes. But that keeps me trying harder. Yes, sir. Right now we are going to disconnect. Turn the power off. Unplug this. Plug it back in. Connect to beta flight. Go to our motors or go to configuration. First we're gonna turn off RX loss. And we're gonna turn off battery low, battery critical for the time being. Just to shut this thing up. Connect. What's it beeping? Let me see. Fail safe. All right. Stop recording video? No, it's still recording. Still. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. What a day. Okay, now we're going to just. Oh, that scared me. Back to BL Heli now, now that we're calibrating. Let's read the setup here. Okay, and they're not in sync, so we're gonna sync them up. One, 10, 12, 1996, 10, 12, 1996, 10, 12, 9. Four is 10, 12, this goes to 1996, right setup. Okay, and one, two, three, remove programming by TX, right setup, one, two, three, and four. Okay, okay, disconnect. Now let's go to beta flight and let's run with the motors. Motors. Here we go. One. There goes motor one. Ooh, two. Okay, three. Four. These suckers got so. Oh, that burned. Four. Okay, so we need to. Two and three are reversed, so let's disconnect. Let's go back to BL Heli and flip two and three to go reverse direction, so motor two is going to be reversed. Right setup, motor three is going to be reversed. Right setup, then click okay, then disconnect. Connect to beta flight, and now, all right, go ahead and get your remote now. And let's go to motors, and we are going to turn this on. We're on? Yep, okay, go ahead and flip your arm switch. Sucker's ready to go. You know? It's moving. Um, so, yeah, you can turn it off. Okay. So, we're going to power this down. Close everything up. 
put the quad back together. You have to hook the video back up. Yep. Yeah. Let me just get that solder done. Guess reconnect the solder. Yeah. I guess we better pull the front off and see if it's got video. Oh yeah. Again, I, th I figured you'd take it for a test flight, no? Okay. Yeah. That'd be good. Give it to get a feel for it in angle mode. That's what I do with all the quads. I put them in angle mode to get a feel for them. All right. Well, let me see. Let me get this thing back together. Yeah, this would be a deviation from my norm. So. But I've got to get away from prop guards eventually, but I just got to find a place to fly where I'm not going to hurt anything. Man, I tried flying this morning in a cloudy weather with a beta quad. Man, the, the visibility was very poor. Yeah. And I ended up in a mud puddle upside down. Fortunately, it wasn't wet, it was this muddy, but that ended that. Time to go home and clean up a quad. I feel you. I understand. So, I've seen all the hazards. Well, not all of them, but I've seen most of them. You've seen a lot of them. That's, yeah. that's for sure. All right, so the receiver, I'm just going to heat shrink the wires down right here. And that will be with this piece here. So, look at that. But I'm getting less afraid to fly somewhere because I feel like I can probably handle most of it. Yeah, I mean, once you get your confidence in certain areas, yeah. I mean, it's fine. It's, you know, like, I don't know. I, I like to fly. I mean, if I fly, I definitely don't like there to be a bunch of people walking around or yeah. walking their dogs and stuff because, you know, they're 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 thinking I'm watching them and I'm like, I'm not watching you. I'm, I'm not, I, I got goggles on, so I need you to kind of watch... And they're not watching, and this is yeah. oh, forget it. But what happens at the at the school locally is I'll be out there, and I'll be in the air, and then somebody will come, and I may not even see him until I'm darn close. Yeah, to him, yeah. And that bothers me. That yeah. scares me. I can understand that. And okay. they freak out when they see a drone flying. Oh yeah, oh yeah. No, let's see if we can do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this one here. Is this a two inch? Is that what they call this? Or is this a one and a half? Well, I guess no, it's, it's a not a one and a half. It's not a one and a half. Um, one and a half. Okay. That's yeah, a it's a two inch. It's a two inch. Okay. Okay, that brings up the question, will you build whoops? <laughs> I will build them, but I will not call them whoops. Say I, again? I said I'll build them, okay. and I'm, but I won't call them whoops. I don't like that name. <laughs> no, no, I was, I was just thinking, I was just thinking there's got to be some frames out there that are stronger than others. Yeah. Okay. All right. You're well aware. Yeah. And you can build a whoop carbon fiber frame it's super light, like a plastic frame. Okay. And then add the plastic motor holders, and or the rubber motor holders, and it comes out pretty good. So there's a couple options, but it was harder when they were using uh, brush motors. Now that a lot of things are brushless, it's a lot easier because you couldn't screw the brush motors down. You could screw the brushless motors down, you know. So okay. yeah, they definitely made it easier. Okay. So yeah. 
Um, I think the goal here is to see how small I can go. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, so uh, we are done there. So now we're just gonna put the um, props on. Okay. Well, if I can get this thing to fly here, I know when I get home, it's going to fly again. Oh, yeah. And that that takes one element of surprise out of all of this. I understand. I'm just tired of spending reasonable money for quads. Pull them out of the box and something happens. And with beta quads, it's typically been video. Typically. Video issues, yeah. Every now and then, I'll get some bad motors. But in the 0603s, I got bad motors, and I have swapped them out for, well, I got happy models from you guys. How were they? Because I just got some today. I opened some, and I was pissed. That was, solved the problem. Yeah. I was so upset today. I did a, uh, I had a guy send me his Mobula 7 that he bought for me, uh -huh. and he, he sent it in for an issue that was not the Mobula 7's fault. It was his radio configuration, uh -huh. and he was cool. He wanted to return it, and I was like, let me just check your radio out. It turned out to be his radio. Um, and but when i went to go test flight this morning the props flew off and i'm like what the oh. hell and the two of the shafts on his mobula 7 were were like small and so they couldn't hold prop luckily i oh. i tried that before i shipped it back to him so then i had to replace the motors and i was so pissed because i'm like you know he should know that i mean he, anybody who's flown a quad knows that the well he no yeah. but but the thing is is it's brand new quad. It's not his fault. Oh, it's gotcha. it's beta. Gotcha. It's, it's it's a Mobula a Happy model okay. Happy put model. on motors that had the wrong shaft size on them, and it's too small. And I'm like, so the minute I went to take the guy could never get it to take off because his radio wasn't configured. So he was cool. So what? But had he had he been able to fly it with his radio, the props would have flown off anyway, and he would have been pissed. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, this poor guy has been dealing with this, and I'm like, you know, I just need them to take time to do their quality checks because. Well, I've had I've seen lately ever since COVID, man. It's like yeah. I don't know if it wiped out people's sense of another quality. quad that has that trouble is an Emax Nano Hawk. Yeah, they have props that are either too big for the shaft or shaft too small yeah. for the prop. Yeah, and what I've learned to do is stick a th thread through them. Yeah, and that'll typically that'll keep me in the air a little while. Yeah. Oh no, hey, those things are normal. I mean, when you buy a quad from any of those big vendors you're going to have that happen yeah i guess it's a probability i mean they make so many of them that some are going to have an issue and i know that's in there some I mean. of the newbie drones i got had a screw missing i fired it up I, to lift off the ground the props flew everywhere <laughs> and the problem is you take a clear plop you can't find it yeah in the oh, house yeah. i've got three props yeah, like that. <laughs> all right this is done charging so you want to use this 2s on there i don't know how it'll do but we can try it if you want you want to try that one sure Better pull off. Let's check the video when you. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'll plug this in and I'll see if we get video. Yeah, let's see if we got video. That'll be step one. Yeah, that'll be fine. We'll just test it with this. Sure. I do not like this uh, uh, Velcro because it doesn't really get a good grip. But let's just see if we can get this to stay. The time being there okay. okay now let's flip this on better pull off the camera cover there you go all right let's see yeah we had video i just missed it just jumped the channel hold on it'll be i'm waiting I'm, there it is so you got video. yes okay we have video so what i put it out there and yeah, just give it a shot out there. This battery's kind of in there, so just be careful. Oh, I gotta get it out of the way of the prop, so let me see. Yeah, that that the battery should hold for a quick little test flight. Let's okay. try that like that. Okay, let's see what we got here. God, this thing's will. Okay. It's spun up. Yippee! Slow, slow, slow. There you go. No, 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 no. 
There you go. Good job. It flies. It flies. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, I'm going to end the video here with you guys, though. So if you have any questions, hit us up. Uh, always uh, find us at cyclonefpv.com. And as always, please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Appreciate your support. God bless. Be safe. And most of all, go spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. We'll see you soon. Talk to you later. Peace. Bye.